Diane Crawl, Mrs. Elvis I'll Costello. Oh. Better turn that down. No. I didn't want to get arrested by the uh, copyright police that are out there. This is Tony P coming back at you with a little video. Actually, this is my entry into the Mama Bear Vinyl Emotional Rescue Contest. I believe it's five albums that elicit some kind of emotion that you have uh, or it brings out an emotion when you hear it. Something out from the, the world out there. And my entries are not in any order. They're just as I pick them up off the floor. Are you ready? Can you dig it? I knew that you could. My first one. Oh, a little, a little, a little Neil Young here. Crazy horse. Everybody knows this is nowhere. Oh, back in, back in the 70s, I believe this was somewhere around there. A buddy of mine, I, I told you we were in a, a three group, three chord band, I used to call them. And you probably saw me uh, this once before with an animal on a cover. But uh, me and my buddy Donnie, uh, we used to fool around singing a little bit on a guitar. And he could sing the losing end off this like nobody's business. And he was such a great guy, nicest guy. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Uh, it's from my hometown. He has since passed away. God bless him. But he could sing. He could sing and he could play guitar. He could play organ, uh, play the bass. He was good at everything. But we tried to harmonize. He was way, way better than me. So every time I play this in the losing end, I think of my buddy. God bless him. He's since passed away. Too young, by the way, when he passed away. Uh, Chris Profi was talking a little bit about Iron Butterfly in one of his other videos. And he made me think about uh, this album, Inagata de Vida. This was my introduction into what we used to call on the East Coast underground music. It was on that crazy FM band back in the day where there was maybe two stations. And I believe it was, um, in, in our area, it was KQVFM. And it was great because the FM quality was so much superior than the AM. There was no static. And all the DJs would talk, talk like this, you know, welcome to uh, KQVFM, underground music. And this was one of them. And my buddy got this album and he had one of those little plastic um, record players that you could carry. They were portable and he let me borrow it. And he had this album. Not this one in particular. This one's mine. And I took it home and I can remember putting it on the kitchen counter. And my dad in his broken English didn't quite get it. And I, could, I can still remember my, my buddy and I saying, put on and it got a DeVita, 17 minutes long. And we also all pretend we were Ron Bushy. If you were a good senior in high school, you could do. That's just a little bit of it. And I, teachers would just yell at us all the time for pounding on the desk, doing trying to do our best Ron Bushy imitation. So when I think about this, I think about the good times my other brother, my other buddy Larry, who uh, uh, talked about this album, and I think he also had, I think it was Jimi Hendrix. I think I want to say the Experience. I'm not sure about that, but uh, he introduced me to this one. Uh, my wife, who was dead at that time, was my girlfriend, Nielsen Schmielsen. Put the lime in the coconut and drink the bowl up. I believe that was one of them. Uh, <clears throat> yes, um, but the song on here that we really liked, the coconut song was right after, this is a side two, was Without You, 
which was which is really good. We really like that. That was 1971. My wife and I, I had a 69 Camaro convertible back in the day. And there was this little pizza place that would sell pizza 10 cents, 10 cents a slice. So my convertible, we put the top down, and it's a cheap date, didn't have a lot of money back in. We used to go to Harry's and get four pieces of pizza, two Pepsis or two Cokes, and we would sit in the parking lot, turn the radio up, and have our pizza date. And Nielsen used to come along. Oh, 10 cents. So every time I hear that, thought you. And those, we, we, we all just look at each other and smile. But Nielsen Schmielsen, great times. 10 cent pizza. Think about that. Think what a 25 piece pizza would have cost you back in the day. And he only sold it by the slice. If you wanted 25 or 22, that's yes, he would give you 22. And there used to be lines in there to get the pizza. But all the kids would be doing the same thing. They'd be sitting in the parking lot eating pizza, drinking Pepsi or Coke back in the day. Nielsen Schmielsen, my wife. Oh. To know these next two albums, you have to know a little bit about me. And my family came from Italy. I was the only one born in the United States. They wanted something made in America. But Dina Martino, I had two older brothers, Silky and Sergio, who could sing. And I mean, they could sing. And as a matter of fact, before my wife and I got married, our, our rehearsal dinner, they sang. I wish we had I wish we had phone cameras back then because I didn't record that couldn't record it it was tremendous my older brother has since passed away uh, Sergio but there's a song here called Return to Me Return to Me Cara mia ti amo so they used to sing that harmonize they were great so Dino every time I play this one and there's also another one on here. Uh, I have but one heart, and if you're a Godfather fan, you remember, oh, Johnny, sing it for us. And it was, I have but one heart. Da, 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 da. Remember that at the wedding? So, Dino, when we put this on, I get those two memories, the Godfather movie and uh, my brother's singing. The last one is Gino Becky. Gino Becky, and the title to this is Mama. And if you know anything about Italians, boys and their mums, there was a bond there. And there was with my mum. My mum came to this country by herself with my two older brothers. I talked about 1949. My dad came in 1950 with my other brother and my sister. My mum was a tough woman. There's a History there I won't go into unless you want to know something by my genealogy. Mama, but that's a great song. Connie Francis did this. Uh, I can't I don't remember in the 50s, but Mama, queste parole. No, I messed that up already. Mama, sola pete mia canzone a vola. Mama, sorai pete mai sta sola. Quanto di voglio bene queste parole di amore. This beauty in me, cuore. That's, that's enough. But um, every time I listen to this, I think of my mom. A uh, fantastic woman. Uh, raised me to be a good a good man, if I can say so myself. No brag, just fact. But um, that's my entry into the Mama Bear Vinyls Emotional Contest. Uh, I thank you. I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, Jesse... Cronin, Hurokin, I'll put the tab down uh, to his to his station. He um, did a contest, the 420 contest, and he he got me into it by registering me with the Happy Hippie. I'll put a link to that too, also in the description. But I'd like to thank you. Um, but Jesse, uh, I, I believe he's from Finland. If, if you can, please subscribe to him. He's a nice young man, uh, has a great channel. Uh, he's pretty busy, so he tries to do uh, uh, videos as much as he can. Uh, the Happy Hippie, if you haven't done 
that channel, uh, please, uh, please go and, and check his out. Uh, subscribe. If you like my channel, please like it and subscribe. Uh, Mama Bear, Cindy at Mama Bear, if you go to her channel, like and subscribe. I thank you very much. Tony P, coming from the basement. Peace, love, rock and roll. God bless you. Stay safe and uh, happy Memorial Day.